Good morning! Um, by the weather's turn, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's like a couple of weeks ago, it was bright and sunny and now it's hot weather. Now it's come out. Oh, welcome committee look. Hi guys! We started feeding the chickens down at the bottom of the allotment before they were getting thrown up in the pens. But the ground is completely bare up there. So we're giving the ground in the pens a rest. I've been feeding them down here. Lee came a couple of weeks ago and trimmed all the rushes. And they're actually doing a really good job of just scratching through it all, clearing it up. Um, I do have hopes. I am ever hopeful that I could um, grow something up here next year. But who knows? We'll see. Right. Made it back from the allotment just in time. The heavens have just opened. The wind's picked up. It looks like we're in for a bit of a storm this afternoon. I've just actually had a weather warning <laughs> on my phone to say expect high winds overnight. So, yeah, just in time. Although, I was so busy nattering to you, I forgot to check for eggs. So I, I'm i going to have to go back out there and check for eggs. But I'll wait until later. Cup of coffee? I'm going to get these apples canned. Right, I've got a pan of water on boiling. I water bath my apples. I've got a pan on boiling. I've got 10 jars. Um, it's just stewed apples. All I did yesterday, I peeled the apples, cored them, put them in a big pan and stewed them down. Packed them in jars. Um, it was about 10 o'clock last night when we finished, wasn't it, Boo? Yeah, so we couldn't be bothered to water bath them last night, so we've left it until this morning. So it's just stewed apples, there's nothing else in here. I have in the past put uh, sugar in and raisins and made a proper pie filling, but I thought this year I'm just gonna stew the apples and then when we use it, we can decide what we want to do. So the jars are cold. Um, if I'd done it last night and put the warm apple into warm jars, the jars would obviously be warm, but these are cold now. So I've got a pan of water that's just, it's been on, but it's, it's warm, but it's not hot because obviously if you put cold jars into hot water, we we'll only get four in there, five in there. Five. You put cold. Can you want more? No, no, you won't get, you won't get, you won't get another one in. No. Um, if you put cold jars into boiling hot water, they'll crack. Um, so what I do is I put some, put them into warm water, leave them to warm up for a bit, and then I'll top it up with boiling water so they're full, um, so the pan's full and the jars are covered. So I'm gonna leave those jars to warm up a bit. And then my kitchen feels really cramped. I have this massive box here. Um, a lot of the honey we got this year was heather honey. So it's really, really thick. And it was um, almost impossible to just strain it. It just wasn't straining properly. Um, so we've got a big box. And underneath the big box, we have um, a heat mat that I start my seedlings on. So there's a bit of reflective, a bit of like reflective foil stuff and a heat mat. And it's heating the honey up. Only slightly, it's not like really hot, it's getting to about, I don't know, probably probably the temperature that most people's houses are, but my house is cold, so. Um, but it's heating the honey up. <clears throat> and while we're waiting for that pan to warm up, we're gonna run some honey through the sieve. What we have here, we have a bucket. And we have a honey sieve. If you look there, you can see we've got, this is all comb and wax. And it goes through the sieve and underneath it's lovely sieved out honey. If you look in there it's got these roller things. I'm not quite sure what these are meant to do though. I think they're meant to These like, are to take the wax off. They're to, I think they're to spike the wax so that the honey is meant to come out. So we're whacking the bucket underneath. Working the bucket down there and then turn the tap. And it oozes out. I'm going to lift it up at the back. I'm going to use my old weights from my old fashioned scales that I never actually use. Um, but I'm just going to 
going to pop them. While I'm do while that's warming up, I'm going to jar up the rest of the the apple I did last night. So I've got another load of jars. I actually only have another seven kilner jars, bowl jars. They're a mix. So we have. A lovely big pan full of stewed apples and like I said it is just apples that have been boiled down and stewed. Um, yeah. So Andrew's going to fill the jars up. These jars are feeling a bit warmer now, so kettle of hot water, top the pan up. Ah, it's not enough. Oh. This should be enough water now. Yeah. So you want enough water in your pan so you the lids are covered. It's a bit tricky with this. You can see how close to the top of the pan the water is, so you have to. I have to be careful. Um, bring it to the boil and leave it to boil for 10 minutes. How many jars have we got, Boo? I don't know. I don't know. You're not even a teenager yet. Right, so he has jarred up the apples. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And bit. So the bit will be eaten by someone. What you got there? <clears throat> oh, tomato this is ketchup. Andrew's tomato ketchup. He says it's tomato ketchup, but it tastes like sweet and sour sauce you'd get from the Chinese. I put takeaway. too much. I put. Right, we'll tell them what you did. I put too much sugar in. We'll tell them how you put made the it. dish. Tell Andrew, start from the beginning. Tell them how you made it. Right, so, we picked all the tomatoes in the greenhouse. Come here. Come here. So they are on the camera. So, we picked the tomatoes that were in the greenhouse yesterday, um, and we had quite a lot of green ones left. So Andrew decided he was going to make green tomato sauce, like tomato ketchup. Um, tell them how you did it. I blended the tomatoes with a bit of water and then... And garlic. And garlic. No, I didn't put garlic in mine because I forgot. Oh, okay, carry on. Sorry. I forgot to put garlic in um, and then I put them on the hob for 20 minutes with too much sugar and we found out it was too sweet so I put vinegar in to do the sweetness. And it tastes exactly like the sweet and sour sauce you get from a Chinese takeaway. What's it taste? It's really nice. That's actually mellowed a bit. Mm. It's mellowed a bit overnight. I don't think it's as sickly sweet as it was yesterday. It Actually, tastes really nice. like tomato sauce now. And that is really nice. So it's green tomato ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, whatever it is, it's really nice. Did you write down how much stuff you put in it? Of course not. I just dump sugar in and stuff. You just dumped things in, so I don't know if we can recreate it. We've got another one. We ended up with two jars. I'm not going to can these, I don't know. Again, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on a Facebook group, a UK canning Facebook group, and people say they do can these swing lids. They say you can, you can water bath and pressure can them. But I don't actually think this stuff's going to last long enough to need water bathing. I think a certain someone's going to eat it all quite quickly. Right, I'm going to get these out, see how they've done. 
I just put a tea towel down on the bench. <clears throat> Until, uh, yeah, they can go there. Tip the water off the lid. Pop it on the tea towel. some of the jars hang on boom watch out if you look at that jar there it's got a discolored bit all that is is because when i was cooking it i left it alone for like 10 seconds i Let's swear i swear it was just 10 seconds and it burnt to the bottom of the pan slightly it's not burnt it just stuck to the bottom of the pan what right the other thing we did yesterday as well as doing apples is we looking strange <laughs> <laughs> is we made some pasta sauce and some tomatoes the men folk went to the in-laws at the weekend and brought back a big box of tomatoes so we made some pasta sauce and we made some because of course he has to do it differently to me so he made a jar that needs canning so I'm going to pop that there with the apples um, and I have this. Hang on. Let me get the camera. I have that that needs doing. It's just a big... All I did, I chucked the tomatoes in this big pan. It's a new tin from Tesco's. I really like it. I might go and buy myself another one. Um, it is tomatoes, uh, garlic, couple of chilies and um, a pepper one and a half peppers and a handful of basil and I whacked it in the oven and left it to roast for be about two three hours I left it in there I'm gonna blend it and then I'm gonna can it that's all I'm doing Straight into a jar. One jar. Right. Pan number two is ten minutes. It's up. I got four jars of tomato sauce out of that bit. It's not much. Won't keep us going for long, but it's better than nothing. Right. Lid them up. Get them out, get another load on. Okay, third batch is in. But, I made a mistake. Um, should have canned them for 20 minutes, not 10 minutes. Sorry, I was doing pickled cabbage the other day and that was 10 minutes, and obviously 10 minutes had just stuck in my head. So, these ones all need redoing. These are about halfway through, um, but I need to go see my mom. So I'm going to redo these ones when I come back. Oh, jars of tomatoes, these all need redoing. Those ones will be fine, so long as the jars seal. <sighs> Moral of the story, check your time before you do things. Yes. Right. With that, we've done the last two jars. I didn't get as much done this afternoon as I'd hoped to, um, but I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 jars of apples canned, well, 14, 15, 16 jars of apple canned, and five jars of tomato, which isn't bad considering everything else I've had to do today. Um, Everything that's been out of the 
kind of, well, everything that's been out for long enough uh, seems to have sealed properly, touch wood. So there's just the, the tomato's not been out for very long. It's not cooled down enough, so I can't check. What have you got there? Look what the husband brought back from work. Two enormous mushrooms. Aren't they brilliant? We're gonna have to eat those. I don't like mushrooms. Weirdo. Someone's gonna have to eat them. He can eat them. Someone will eat them. Um, right, so I'm done for the night. Or at least done canning anything for the night. I do have another pot of... What? The sound. <laughs> you can hear the cans hissing as the, as the air comes out. I do have another pan of apple on. I'm planning to make apple butter tomorrow. So that's going to just sit there and bubble away until we go to bed. Then I'll whack a lid on it, turn it off and carry on making it in the morning. I did get some more jars. I'm quite impressed with my little jars. But anyway, um, that's enough for this one. Until next time, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Say goodbye. Strange, strange child.